Welcome, Arisen. We pawns have long awaited your arrival. We're continuing this month's IGN First on Dragon's Dogma 2 with a detailed look at its new, robust character creator. The original Dragon's Dogma had a pretty intense character creator, but Dragon's Dogma 2 has upped the ante for just how detailed you can get for your character and ideal pawn. Dragon's Dogma 2 director Hideaki Itsuno explained during IGN's visit to Capcom in Japan that the character creator was something they put a lot of work into for the first game. But with better hardware performance this time around, they could add as much freedom to the system as they wanted. Itsuno-san said, The problem is that this means that the act of creating a cool character or the character that you want to see becomes no different from doing so with clay. You could have your ideal character in mind, but you'd basically need to be an artist to form that character with your own hands. So that's where we had to begin when deciding how character creation would work. He thought maybe they should make the character creator simpler, but because the game's artists wanted something that detailed, they worked hard to create a system that gives players access to every available setting if they want it, while also offering a simpler creation method. They accomplished this by having two body types for each race, nine base bodies per type, and an uncountable number of base head variations created from nearly a hundred real human face scans. From there, you can make the final adjustments yourself, giving Dragon's Dogma 2 a system where anyone can create attractive, realistic-looking faces without needing to be an artist. The options are indeed vast, and you can get incredibly granular while editing a character if you so choose. There are 40 types of muscle styles and 12 sliders for just a human's nose, for example. Art director Daigo Ikeno admitted, I imagine some people getting themselves stuck in the creator and having trouble starting the game. That said, I think it's a creator that will be able to meet the needs of most people. I'm one of those people who consider a character creator as deep as the one in Dragon's Dogma 2 as the first boss, as I can easily spend more than an hour happily tweaking a character, which I was tempted to do at Capcom Japan despite my limited time hands-on. Of course, the most obvious new addition to the character creator is a brand new race, the Beastron, anthropomorphic big cats Itsunosan wanted to add since the first game but couldn't due to hardware limitations. Specifically, rendering the fur on many subjects on the screen at once. To make sure the Beast Wren had enough diversity compared to humans, Ikeno-san explained that the team looked at the kinds of patterns and colors found in felines and made sure that the kind of variety the players would surely want were included. Ikeno-san concluded, I hope that players will try changing both Beast Wren and human faces to see what they can make. We have more on Dragon's Dogma 2 as part of January's IGN First coming soon, so keep checking back for more. Thank you for watching and keep it here at IGN. I myself look forward to traveling alongside you and using my experiences beyond the rift to enrich your adventures.